bunch of races at Grundy County. Blake Brown. Blake, welcome to the Racing Roundup Show. Yeah, thank you guys for having me back. I appreciate it. Thanks for bringing the crowd with you. Um, it's been a busy, busy summer for you. How did things pick up and stay busy for you, Blake? Yeah, it's been crazy. It's been awesome. Um, beginning of the year, didn't have any plans, wasn't even thinking about racing, and uh, saw a post on Facebook from Jeff Olson. He's a guy I used to race against in mid-ams in, like, 2007. He okay. said he was looking for a driver. So I just messaged him. Didn't even think anything to come of it. I just figured I'd message him, see what the deal is, see see if we could work something out just to put me in the car for a race or two, just go out and have some fun. Um, fortunately, had a sponsor come on board, say, hey, you want to run the season, run for a championship? So I said, yeah, if, if you guys want to do that, I'm in. So kind of got that whole deal going. And then had been talking to Anthony Danta um, since we had like a Grundy County iRacing series. Me and him had been talking a lot, and I found out he had hurt his back at work, and he wasn't able to drive at first. Yeah, wasn't able to drive his late model. So I was kind of joking, just saying, hey, I'm going to be there with the mid-am if your car owner wants to put someone else in the car. Again, didn't think anything would come of it, but he actually texted me then later that week and said, hey, I talked to her, and she wants you to drive it. So... Even that, thought it was just going to be maybe the first week or two until he got back. Unfortunately, he's been sidelined for the whole season, but I've been out there just about every, <clears throat> excuse me, just about every Friday with both cars. Um, it's a lot more racing than I plan on doing, but it's been fun. How'd you do this past weekend? You got, a, what, four times behind the wheel this weekend? Yeah, yeah. So we raced Friday and Sunday. Um, we did good. Friday, we finished top five in both cars, finished second in the mid am feature. Sunday won the mid-am feature so that was awesome that was our second one of the season we were running strong in the Lee Schuler Memorial in the late model race on Sunday and kind of got tangled up with another driver we kind of got wrecked in that deal so we were running strong in the top five didn't come home with the finish that I know we deserved I think we would have put up a good fight to run with Schaefer and Zolods and those guys up front for the win but um Still a solid run for our team. I'm telling you, Blake Brown is no slouch. I mean, there's, what, 22 cars in the feature on Friday night, for example. You finished fourth behind Eddie Hoffman, Paul Schaefer, and Ricky Baker. Those guys have a ton of laps at Grundy. That's yeah. pretty impressive to know you're running with those guys on a weekly basis. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's been awesome this year, like I said, for starting out, just thinking we were going to go out, try to have some fun, and then now we've got we've got two wins, two feature wins on the mid-am and two feature wins on the late model. Um been pretty awesome give us one story about how you almost missed one race or it was too late to get to the other car because that's got to be a busy night when you do two cars at the same time yeah it is especially there's been quite a few weeks where they've been back to back and there's not a division in between so there's been races where um we actually i can't remember which car we ran first to be honest with you i think we won in the late model mid ams were already pulling out on the track staged on the back stretch so we're doing our victory lane stuff on <laughs> the front stretch have to get in staged the car for tech they didn't want us to deal with tech at that point got a golf cart ride through the pits down to the mid-am and just tried to strap in as quick as i could to get out there so the track's been awesome they've worked with us knowing that i'm running double duty but um it's been crazy running back and forth between both cars but i wouldn't have it any other way do you let anybody else like hop in and maybe put the car closer to a pit exit or something for you or are you one of those guys that's like nope that's my car i'll get i'll get in when i get in (laughs) no i'm fine with it they (laughs) usually try to get the car lined up wherever it'll be most convenient to just hop in and go are you pitted next to each other at least those two teams <laughs> no that's the other thing <laughs> we uh we were we were the first race but um the pit slab that was open for the late model that first race wasn't the one that we really wanted so um practice the divisions are back to back so they'll see me hop out of the mid am and be sprinting down the pits with my helmet and everything still on climb right in the late model to go out so it's been exciting but it's been a lot of fun I'm, I'm going to say the enjoyment factor has got to be up there. Now, we talked, I uh, teased a little bit, the Bettenhausen, the 59th annual running of that race for the great Bettenhausen family out of Chicago. Uh, I don't know which one it's named after. Is it named after all of them? But it doesn't matter. It's a I huge race. I thought it race. was named after Tony, is but okay. I could be wrong. All right, could be. Because Tony won a bunch of races. I, I think his picture still hanging in, in the Milwaukee Mile infield uh, building there with his trophy hanging onto it when he won a USAC race at the mile way back when. Um, that's pretty cool. That's in two weeks' time. How many cracks do you get at winning a Bettenhausen Trophy that night on September 19th at Grundy? Uh, just going to be running the late model. Mid-Ams aren't there, so full focus is going to be on the late model. And, um, man, we've, we've had an awesome car this year. Like I said, we've got two feature wins so far, and uh, we've been running strong every week we've been out there. So um, I'm excited. I think, I think we should have a good chance. Um, just obviously got to hit everything right, kind of have the night go our way like you always need, and I think we could be there.
Second in points of the Mid Am uh, uh, class at Grundy County. Will the Bettenhausen be a point race, or is that wrapped up now? Nope. So um, normally it'd be wrapped up by now. Usually the Schuler Memorial Night on Sunday night, that's usually the last points race of the season. Okay. But because of everything that the most tracks have been dealing with with COVID this year, mm-hmm. they actually added a points night on September 26th, the week after the Bettenhausen. Okay. So Mid-Ams aren't racing with the Bettenhausen night, but um, we're going to be back that week following, so that'll be our season wrap-up. And I saw the little number on the GrundyCountyOnline.com website, $5,900 to win, 625 to start. That's going to be pretty rich for a lot of guys to show up, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. It's all, it always is. That's obviously you know a big race in the Midwest, um, especially with that kind of payout. And I'm sure we're going to get a lot of guys, usually get a couple guys traveling. So um, I'm sure we'll have a big field there. I have to make the show on qualifying and race hard, have a lot of good drivers. Who is helping you do what you do, Blake, this year? Yeah, so I got to thank everybody. I have so many people to thank. Um, the Mid Am, that was the deal that came together first, like I said. So, Jeff Olson, he's been the man. He's given me a great car all season. Had a lot of fun with those guys. So, Jeff Olson and uh, JRR Racing, they've been a lot of fun to race with. Um, and then I got to thank Lisa Turgovich. She's the late model owner that she was nice enough to put me in her car when Anthony couldn't drive it. Um, can't thank her enough for that opportunity, and especially Anthony Danta, just for. A lot of guys, it'd be hard to recommend someone else to drive their car when they can't drive it. So awesome for him to be willing to kind of set that deal up. But not only that, he's been out there each and every week with us, working at the shop and at the track. He's basically been the crew chief, helping set up the car and all that. So I want to thank him and Ron for giving me the car that they've had this year, both crew chiefing on that deal. Um, And then I got to thank my sponsors. I got a whole list here, so just want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Sure. Uh, We got Let's Party Rental Venue. They've been our biggest supporter all year, so thank them on both cars. Advanced Powder Coating, Auto Wash LLC, who's actually, they're the only sponsor we have that's not local down there. They're out of Madison, so if anyone needs their car detailed, uh, they're the ones to go to. Uh, we got K&M Septi- Septic Service, uh, N. Holland Images, Olson's Auto Scrap, Metal Recycling, Prairie State Water Systems, and Attorney Ray Zarmach. So thank you guys all for all your help this season. We couldn't do it without you. One more weekend, you think, or you might be playing other where, other places? Man, I don't know. Like you said, if, if the phone's ringing, I'm answering. <laughs> um, and if the phone's not ringing, I might be asking around. So we'll see. Right now, we just got the Bettenhausen and then the last points race at Grundy, but... I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't been looking to see when Oktoberfest was this year. So we'll yeah, see. We'll cool. see what's out there. Really glad to see you smiling and having fun and winning some races, man. That's awesome to see you back here. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's been awesome. All right, Sam, for Blake Brown. Blake, thanks for joining us on the program. Thanks for bringing the family down as well. It's good to see you. Uh, did you thank your wife, Val? I think I will. Thank you, Val. Well, got to thank your wife, right? Oh, I know, for sure. She's been my biggest supporter. Yeah, Sorry, I go. took my headset off right. there. But, no, she was the one, honestly, that kind of pushed me to do it because I'm like, you know, Grundy's two hours away from where okay. we live, so I'm like, do we want to be driving down there every week and doing all that? But, yeah, she really pushed me to do it, so yeah, thanks it. to Val. You bet. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Val, for coming and letting them do it. It's awesome. You guys are having a ball. Uh, we're taking a commercial break. I want to remind you, if you want to put four generations of racers and over 40 years of experience behind your next auto body repair your, of your daily driver or fleet of work trucks, see the racers at Schlafer Auto Body and Sales in Lannan. They work, for all, they work with all insurance companies. Search Schlafer Auto Body on Facebook to get in touch with this family racers and to check out their latest projects that are winning a bunch of awards when it comes to classic car restoration. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for more of the Racing Roundup Show. 